hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day today i wanted to talk about a command line interface tool called simplify ubuntu which was created by terminal for life he wrote it in bash so it's in in a pure shell script and that is it's really powerful it can help you deep bloat your debian or ubuntu based operating system ubuntu based linux distribution debian or ubuntu based linux distribution there you go and let me just open up firefox and show you uh, the tool that i'm talking about so let me just head over to my github profile so not my github profile the github profile of terminal for life so terminal for life github github and I'll leave a link to his GitHub repo. I will leave a link to the GitHub repository in the description box below. Inside of this extra repository, um, there should be something called source. So click on that, and inside of source, there should be something called Simplify Ubuntu. Um, I also wanted to talk about this RMNE. I don't know what that stands for, but what this will do is it will allow you to completely, you know strip your debian or ubuntu based operating linux distribution to its bare essentials and it will leave you without a kernel and an internet connection so you can build the your debian or ubuntu based operating system or linux distribution the way you would want to so essentially new users not new essentially um you know it's for the advanced users who would like to build their own debian or ubuntu based operating system from scratch uh, but for us today we'll be using this simplify ubuntu so we'll click on that and there should be a file called simplify ubuntu now you can either clone the repository and have this file or script but i'm going to click on this i'm going to copy the source code of this entire thing now it's actually quite big around 2000 2128 lines of code so we really did put quite some time and effort into writing this so yeah, make sure you go ahead and check his channel out. He's got a YouTube channel with over around 5,000 subscribers. He really makes awesome Linux content. He's a huge Terminal fan. So I'll leave a link to his GitHub repository, this GitHub repository and his YouTube channel in the description box below. So make sure you go ahead and check his channel out and make sure you check this uh, Simplify Ubuntu tool as well. So I'm going to click on raw and I'm going to copy this entire script and then i'm going to exit out of firefox i'm going to open my terminal let me just make a directory and call it so let me just call it simplify my linux cd simplify my linux as you can see there's nothing in this directory as of right now but we'll create a file called simply simplify and if I went ahead and did an ls, as you can see, simplify is there. So I'll edit this simplify. I'll paste the entire code. So control shift V. All right. So now that we have pasted in the script, we're going to exit out of Vim. We're going to save our changes. And there you go. So let me uh, do an ls. Let me cat simplify as you can see the entire code is there uh, now if we simply run dot forward slash simplify this will not work because we'll obviously need to change the we'll obviously need to give it permission so we need to change the permission state of the script to do that we'll type chmod plus x which stands for change mode to executable and then simplify and it has the mode has been changed it is now executable now we'll obviously need to you know execute this script with pseudo permissions because it will uh, essentially ask us to prompt us to uh, you know it will essentially ask these questions and it will tell you to enter why if you're unsure so if you want this mid specific artwork so if you want the packages You'll obviously type y if you don't want this package packages will type n so i don't want min specific artwork so i type n and that will 
you know rem remove mean icon themes well so yeah i don't need them so i'm sure that i don't need them i'll get rid of them you be using amd graphics yes I, yes I will be using amd graphics because i have an amd dyson cpu with inbuilt graphics will you, is this instruction of running inside of no it's not running inside of a virtual machine so i'll type n will you need yep support i don't need a yep support will you ever need to ship do that filter i use something called gub gummy to you know uh, to, to filter my blue light so i'll not need that i'll type y and it will get rid of that so essentially uh, this will essentially generate a list of all of the packages that are installed on your system and it will ask you whether you need them or not we'll be needing inx yes i'll be needing that do you need the terminal text editor nano i generally use vim but it's always good to have nano by your side because you never know <laughs> vim might you know not want to cooperate with you sometimes so yeah having nano is always a good option so i'll type why will you be needing fake root yes i'll be needing fake root will you need yes i'll be needing that will you ever need sl support for minority languages now this is something which i will need because obviously my, my i'm not i'm not my native my first language is not english and english is not my native language so uh, the so i, I actually speak um, uh, other languages so I'll be needing that because I sometimes use, you know, those iBus keyboard to type in my uh, language, my mother tongue. Will you need the GUI fronted to uncomplicated firewall? So this is talking about this this thing right here, firewall configuration. Let me launch that up. For some reason or the other, it is just not going to launch. Uh, I wonder why firewall configuration why is it not launching? This file should launch up. It does. I'll be needing that, so I'll just you know, type Y and I'll proceed. Will you be use, are you using the KD desktop environment? No, I'm using the i3 caps window manager, so I'm not using in desktop environment. Are you using the XFC desktop environment? No, I'm not using. Uh, are you using the matter desktop environment no <laughs> i just realized that i accidentally ended up typing y instead of n but since it's not there it's, it's just nothing nothing's going to happen all right are you using the gnome resolver no will you need any penetration testing tools now i have kali linux dedicated to penetration testing i don't really do pen testing on my Linux Mint Debian edition, so I'll not need them. But I, but you know, I like keeping, I like keeping penetration testing tools. Will you ever need curl CLI download manager? Yes, I need them. Will you be needing sudo? Yes, I'll be needing sudo. Will you be needing Urix too? No, I'll not need them. This will get rid of all of that. It's a really powerful tool. It generates the list of all of the packages that are installed on your system and then asks you that whether you would need them or not and if you don't need them you can type n and that will get rid of those packages from your system if you need them or you're unsure about the package you can just type y and for the time being it can be there on your system so yeah and there you go it's done will you be using it i'll be keeping this cli system information tools will you need well yes i'll be needing that so, i'm not sure what lvm means so i'll just type y do you need support for zip archives yes i need 7z yep i need yes i need i sometimes use xclip to copy code snippets do you need dmite code? I don't know what that means, so I'll just keep that. Do you need any evolution packages? No, I don't need any evolution packages. I think evolution packages is a mint thing. I'm not sure. Will you need the FTP package, which is file transfer protocol or something? I don't know, but I'll just keep that. 
we don't need tools to build them no i i actually <laughs> i just you know I, I am a python guy and i build app images uh, so that they can run on any linux system i specifically don't design tools for debian based system so yeah i'll never build anything as of right now at least i'm not building anything from source um, for debian based solutions so i'll type in n yep i would like to get rid of all of those it's actually really nice this tool just you know interactively prompts you to enter either y or n if you need the package you'll type y if you don't need it'll type n and it will do all the magic for you will you need the time package yes i need scenic package python py kind of anything i i i i i i'm the i'm python guy so anything related to python i'll keep remove any and all leftover cache even but i think this essentially what it does is it runs sudo apt fix broken install under the hood so yeah remove any and all leftover cached debian packages yep now all that's left to do is to perform a quick reboot and we should be good to go so i would like to end this video here make sure to check this awesome little tool uh, as always i'll leave a link and i'll leave the link to his github repository in the description i've said this many times i'll also leave a link to his channel i'll also leave a link to his video where he explains simplify ubuntu it's an awesome little utility so if you want to deep load your debian or ubuntu based operating linux distribution why do i keep saying operating system i mean it's it's not it's not wrong to call it operating system but debian or ubuntu based linux distribution sounds more sensible i guess so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i'll catch you later make sure to check this uh, command line interface tool out